Hi, this video tutorial I will cover interthread communication. Using interthread communication or cooperation, we can allow synchronized threads to communicate with each other. Interthread communication is a mechanism in which a thread is passed running in its critical section and another thread is allowed to enter in the same critical section to be executed. It is implemented by wait, notify and notify all methods and these methods belongs to object class. Here I have defined the class bank account. Initially in bank account it has 10,000 rupees. It has two methods. Both methods are synchronized methods. The first synchronized method is withdraw method and the second synchronized method is deposit method. Here you can see thread 1. Thread 1 tries to withdraw 50,000 rupees from bank account using this withdraw method and it will pass 50,000. But currently in bank account it has only 10,000. So 10,000 is less than 50,000. So it will come inside this if block and it will print less balance waiting for deposit and this wait method will be invoked and thread 1 will wait for thread 2 to deposit more money in the bank account and notify the thread 1. Thread 2 deposit 80,000 rupees in bank account and notify the thread 1 by calling notify method. Once thread 1 get notification from thread 2, thread 1 will complete the withdrawal process and it will execute this line and it will print withdraw completed. Here you can see the bank account class which I have just explained. It has two synchronized methods. The first one is withdraw and the second one is deposit. Here I have defined the class uh, interthread communication demo. It has main method. Inside main method, I have created bank account object. And here I have created thread1. And thread1 tries to withdraw 50,000 rupees from bank account. And starting the thread. Here I have created thread2. And thread2 deposit 80,000 rupees in bank account. And here I am starting the thread 2. I am running this program. Here you can see the output. Here you can see wait methods and notify and notify all methods. These methods belongs to object class because they are related to lock and object has a lock. If you want to know more about object class, Go to this uh, Oracle documentation and check that. Object class belongs to java.lang package. And here you can see the methods uh, supported by object class. And this is about inter-thread communication and thanks for watching.